You're listening to Butch Party, the first single off the new album, Beautiful Freak Show, by Dean Brody. It's been another big round of award shows for Dean, and we can likely expect a, a few more with his new album. Welcome, Dean Brody. Thank you so much for coming in. I know it's bright and early for you. Um, I, you know, I, I was asking you beforehand, I, I asked Dean, when, when was it? Do you remember the last Bush party you actually went to? Yeah, well, like, I guess it depends, right? Because my Bush parties these days are a lot less. There's so, a lot less alcohol served at right, them, right? Right, a little more just chilling, looking at the stars? Yeah, that kind of thing, having a beer or two instead of seven or eight. Right. So, yeah. I'm a few years removed from the, <laughs> the college bush party. They are the best kind of party, though. Yeah. So you, you had a, a really, I mean, an incredible summer, uh, toured a lot, won awards, and now you've got this album out, and or it, coming out, I guess. And, uh, you know, do you still kind of get, at this point in your career, do you get those, those pre-album jitters, like, are people going to like this? Yeah, definitely, man, because I write a lot of the songs myself, and so I'm super hard on myself, but I also, yeah, I freak out a little bit. You kind of wonder, like, are they going to like? What, are they going to like this batch of songs, right? But, yeah. Um, so far, like, our formula has just been have fun writing, mm -hmm. have fun in the studio, and so far that's translated. So that when we're out playing live, that they have fun too. So, this record's definitely been a lot of fun. So we'll see. How do you um, how do you deal with the pressure of having to follow up success? Um, I I don't really think about it. I just kind of. Sorry, did I make you think about it? No, no. <laughs> yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's gonna suck. <laughs> How am I gonna but, do this? Yeah, but no, I, I've stopped thinking. The first, you know, the first couple records were like that. I was like, man, how am I ever gonna top Trail on Life or Dirt or, you know, the first title one? And so, but it's gotten to where it's just I just try and do my best. Hopefully, I'm evolving. I don't know if I'm necessarily getting better, but hopefully, I'm evolving as a writer and. As long as I'm doing that, I'm, I'm okay. So I don't really gauge getting better, just evolving. And just evolving. Like, yeah. Yeah. So I can I can handle that. Well, it's like evolving from bush parties. The, the bush party continues to happen. It just changes, it right? It just changes. The changes. Yeah. Um, so you've got some some celebrity cameos on on this album. Uh, I mean, one of them we got to talk about, which is Vince Gill. Yeah. And who's a an absolute legend. Now he took one of your songs and reworked it for you. And can you talk about how that even happened? Um, I've always been a huge fan of Vince Gill. Like to me, he's just he's legendary at this point in Nashville, you know. Yeah. And so, I uh, just had this song called Blueberry Sky, kind of a, a nostalgic, really throwback kind of song. Something that maybe Vince would have done back in the day. And uh, my producer Matt Rovey s said, "I can get this to Vince if you want to try." Mm -hmm. And I said, "Yeah, that'd be awesome." And and yeah, Vince heard the song. He said he loved it. And he put down this amazing. Hold on, just hang on to that for just a second. Vince Gill loved your song. Yeah, come on. Which is one of the right, like that was amazing to me to hear him yeah. say that. And so then he put his part on it, just the guitar. He, you have to hear it. The solo he did is just like it's so perfect. And and you've been working with Matt Rovey on every album, so everybody that has loved your previous work is gonna love this, just because it's, I hope it's you so. guys again. Yeah, like me and Matt, he's he's probably one of my best friends. Like he's just a really good guy. Uh, originally from Arizona, moved to Nashville, same reason I did for the dream of music. And so, um, yeah, we have fun. We, we, you know, we clash a little bit once in a while in the studio because it's six albums, right? It's like, yeah. I don't know, like 80 songs. At this point, you're family. You got to clash. We're kind of family, yeah. yeah. So, a great guy and just great direction, too. Like, I have all these ideas floating around in my head, and he's able to, like, bring them together, communicate them to the musicians. And so I think, I think we work really well together. That's awesome. Well, you know what? We are so excited to see you perform this a little bit later in the show. So again, uh, you will see. Uh, well, the new album, Beautiful Freak Show, is available Friday at DeanBrody.com. And don't go anywhere. Like I said, Dean is performing a song from the new album coming up on BT. I believe it's 740. Hit me and you. Steal a kiss or two.